Okay, so Mark Halpern, an awful lot to talk about, but we have uh, breaking, uh, breaking news, polls, uh, Quinnipiac, and some pretty incredible uh, verbates. Yep, lots of things in this talk, poll. Talk about this just yep. came out. We're going to be getting full screens yep. up for you. Uh, Hillary Clinton leads nationally, but Joe Biden does better than she does slightly in head-to-heads with the leading Republicans. So Biden is now doing better, better than Hillary against, against Republicans Trump and, and Bush, Clinton, et cetera. Yeah. Um, Trump leads nationally. Carson is second, which is something that we're seeing consistently. Uh, and then uh, the Hillary Clinton's unfavorable is very high. But but you and I both this struck both Listen of us. Listen to this verbate. So they and ask people, tell you what. what's the first word you think of when you're asked the name of a presidential candidate? So the leading answer for Hillary Clinton was liar. The leading answer for Trump was arrogant, and the leading word for Jeb Bush, Bush. That may be. That may be a problem. It may be. It may not be. I mean, Bush is also the last name of one of our most popular former presidents, Bush 41, his father. And I think the Republican primary voters are well aware of yeah. W. Bush's record. So, I, I, I listen, I'd rather be known as Bush than a liar. Or arrogant. But, you know, these are unprompted, yeah, by the way. The, these questions, though, they, what, what happens is they ask in these polls what it's the part of the polls that always scared me the most because they were the most instructive. They're called verbates. Right. Tell us. It's like a focus group. What's the first thing you think of when you think of Joe Scarborough? And then you have to sit there and read the sentence. <laughs> How'd you go, do? Oh, my God. How'd you do? What were some of the worst? Um, he works for MSNBC. Oh. He's always the worst. <laughs> Not anymore, though, because no. things have changed. Thank things you, Andy. Have Thank you, Andy. Uh, but yeah. that was the past. This is the now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, oh. but, but, but these are the verbates, and these are the most revealing. And for Hillary, that's bad news. Somehow, arrogant works in Trump's favor. And for Bush, I think Bush says it's it all. It's better than the other two. Yeah. It certainly is. There's also some word clouds in here that I'm hoping we can get up. Before what? What's long. that? Okay. You know, word clouds for Trump, Bush, yeah. and, and yeah. Uh, Okay, word Clinton. cloud, go. They're, well, they're just, you got to see them. They, they, all right, so we'll put it together. Oh, okay. 